guys welcome back to my channel it's Natea if you're new thank you for coming and if you're returning welcome family so today I'm here with something different your girl got a puff a high pop <laughs> I'm looking different you know it's gonna be it's gonna grow on me I haven't seen myself like this in a while so you know you know but guys if you want to see how I achieve this look by using you know a ponytail by love me here just stay tuned and it will be coming up next guys I'm super excited because my hair can now you know go in a puff and so so I'm kind of excited so if you guys want to see that just stay tuned and that will be coming up next Alright guys, so I'm starting off with my hair freshly washed and a little straightened. I had blow dried it the night before. I parted my hair in two. I parted at my ears and those little white things in my hair. It's just my eczema acting up in my hair. And I'm just going to put away the back of my hair because I'm working with the front. So I parted it in two sections and then I part the two sections into three. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So I did the rest off camera. So I'm just showing you guys how I did it or what I did. To be honest, you can do whatever you want, whatever style you desire, whatever. I just wanted to do something that was cute and easy to do. And I think... I did that <laughs> you know I think I did that so I'm using the edge booster edge control just to sleek you know the little sections so it will look even neater when I add the elastic band to it right so I'm just adding the elastic band I'm not making it super tight because I'm gonna be adding it to the other one and that's gonna put some tension on it so I am trying my best not to do it tight because you know so to the ends of my hair i'm adding that leave-in conditioner and again this is from crowned in curls on instagram i use her products in my hair every time because they are just awesome they smell so nice and i'm just twisting the ends of my hair because i'm gonna be you know attaching it to the next one so i'm just showing you guys how i do it again as i said it's pretty simple to do and that's what it's looking like that part wasn't so neat but i ain't even gonna worry about that guys so right here i am doing the braid to the side i just thought that this would be so cute but for some reason i realized that i can't braid my own hair with the feeding method like this i don't know why but i just couldn't so i and my hair is not thick so i just decided to just do it with the knot you know so yeah so i'm working on the back right now i'm trying to get it into a ponytail so i'm using my got to be glued free spray i parted it in two sections as well and i'm actually putting the small section at the back away because the top part of my hair is a little longer because i had a tapered cut before if you guys are were not aware so i am using my blow dryer just to you know dry the free spray so that it can hold and honestly guys this thing held my hair so good i didn't have to do anything else and i'm adding the got to be glued gel just for some you know extra sleekness and all because we want it to be sleek sleek you know so i'm brushing it in and then i'm going to be using the blow dryer again I actually use the blow dryer and warm just to ensure that the hair stayed in place. Alright, so I am working on the small section. So I actually parted that small section in two just to do you want to when your hair is as short as mine, you want to work with it in sections. When you do so, it's easier. It's way easier for you to make it sleek. So that's just what I am doing there. Again, I'm adding the free spray and I'm going to be adding the got to be glued gel. And then I'm just going to be brushing it in and using my blow dryer to make it sleek and neat. Okay. So 
so I'm working on the last section now and I did the same thing got to be glued free spray got to be glued gel and then blow dryer Go, guys I was super surprised how easy it was to put my hair in a ponytail because if I knew it was this easy I would have been wearing ponytails a long time ago because y'all don't know this but i love me a ponytail i've always been wearing a ponytail if you know me you know that i love a ponytail okay so i am just you know making sure it is dry somewhat i'm brushing it in with my brush the brush is actually coarse and then i'm just twisting the ends of my hair because i want to keep it away when you're wearing protective style you still want your hair to be protected okay so it's moisturized with the leave-in conditioner and i am just putting it away and i'm using my brush just to sleek it you know some more and i'm gonna tie it with my headscarf and this what is it wave thing and i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys later all right guys so this is the next day and i'm just removing my scarf and just to see what my hair is looking like it is laid and it is ready for the ponytail so today we're working with hair from love me hair they were kind enough to send me over this ponytail to review for you guys again the package from love me here is always beautiful they have a little note saying you should enjoy your hair they have a care package you get your wig cap and you get the little goodie bag and in this goodie bag guys they gave me a head scarf you get your elastic band you get some air pins you also get an edge brush and you get the love me hair um hair clip and a tweezer so let's move on to the main event which is this ponytail here so this ponytail i have her in 14 inches and i think she's a kinky curly ponytail she comes with two combs and the adjustable string so i'm gonna be attaching her to my head and straight out the package she's soft and i was supposed to receive her in the color 1b but for some reason i don't know if this is a if if, if the description is off but this don't look like a 1b this like this look like a number four you know not even a number two it's like a number four so i am just fluffing her out i didn't want her to be super curly i wanted it to be as kinky as i could get her and i'm just using my comb to do that you guys can understand what i'm doing and i'm using my scissors just to shape her a little when you have well for me with my ponytails or my puffs i want them to be framed you know i don't want it to be all over the place so i'm just framing it so whenever you're wearing a ponytail some of them you have to frame some of them you don't and for this one i decided to frame her so i'm just going in and cutting off as much hair as i can just until i get it the way i want it you know so i'm still using my leave-in conditioner and i'm just gonna add that to my puff not a lot just a little bit on my hands and yeah so i'm adding these air jewelry to my hair just to jazz it up a little you know it's always say it's always cute you know i think they're cute to be honest so this is the finished look guys i added some beads to my braids and the hair jewelry and i think it turned out pretty good i really like the puff it is new Zaya. Shh. it is new and i haven't worn my hair like this in a long 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 time and i really appreciate it i really love it and that is it guys for this video so thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe and don't forget to share and i'll see you in the next one bye bye the obvious reason true love is no longer in season who can you trust anymore all they do is walk out the door eventually you